Hey everybody, this is Harlan Kilstein from the Doggington Post, and I'm here with a special guest. Her name is Laura Numeroff. Now, you may not recognize that name at all. You're saying, what kind of special guest is this that I haven't heard of? But chances are, if you have children or grandchildren, you know who she is because you've probably read one of her books to your kids. I know as soon as I got an email about it, I went, oh, my God, um, the most famous uh, book of, okay, if you, give, if you give a mouse a cookie, and it, it's just one of those books, and it spawned an entire series um, of that. Do you have any idea of how many books you've sold since you've been doing that? <laughs> okay, well, I have to make a disclaimer. I don't get a dollar a book. But the series has sold like 11, over 11 million. And don't you wish you got a dollar a book? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, now someone who has... Sold, I like the word you use, spawned. <laughs> yeah, spawned. Now, here's the thing that when I got the email absolutely puzzled me. Um, you, Your publisher is Harper, and I would suppose... Again, I'm not in that kind of publishing industry, okay? So I don't know these things. But if there's an author who happened to sell, let's say, a number like 11 million <laughs> books, and and she came to me with an idea for a book, it would probably take me, oh, about a second and a half to say yes. Oh, I want you to be my editor. <laughs> right. And and now here, because this is the Doggington Post, you have chosen a topic for your new book that every single person of the half million who are on my Facebook page would probably want to give you a hug uh, for for writing about and you got a rejection. Okay. Yeah. What's well, that what's that about? <laughs> You're asking me. Okay, so, that's what I wanted to say to her. Do you so, see what that about? So I mean, maybe, maybe they made a mistake, or you know, the person's brain dead. But the controversial topic that Laura, Laura's new book is about, is about service dogs. Right. She's writing about service dogs, and someone at Harper doesn't like the idea of service dogs. So tell us how you got the idea of the book and what's this book all about? I've always wanted to... Am I looking in the right place? You are looking in the right place. Okay. We, okay. We, 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 <laughs> always we, wanted to write about service dogs. I'm a huge dog lover. And I actually met this young guy, like Sean, who's you know media savvy and tech and knows all of that stuff. Right. And I hired him to help me with my archaic, depressing website. And we started talking, and it turns out Sean has a younger brother with cerebral palsy, and he's had a service dog. Um, Devin has for 11 years, Miss Ellie. And we started talking about the book, and he said, why don't we just do it? Why don't we do it? And as a, like an app for an iPad or an e-book. And that's how it came to be. And I'm so, how serendipitous is that the person who was... I hired to use, uh, fix up my website. This turned out from the uh, yeah, from our meetings. But but coming back to it, I mean, we live in an age with the Americans for Disabilities Act, and um, we're trying to be a society as inclusive as possible. And if you go into a hotel or a restaurant with a service dog who's clearly marked, no one can say no to you. And I'm not aware of any overwhelming surplus of books, of children's books, about service dogs. So help me here. What could they possibly be thinking? You've got two things that everybody loves, dogs and, you know, helping people right. with a problem. Inclusion. Conclusion. What am I missing? I don't know, but you know what? In the long run, it worked out better because I think I have more control of this project. It's going to be more fun. I didn't just, normally I write a, a book and I hand it in and then they take over and of course I get love, love over it. 
But now I get to add all kinds of things on um, an app and send it out to a lot more people. And I also, we're also, I don't know if you know this, but we're also doing for the Kickstarter for every book that we sell for every $25 pledge, we're giving a free book to first book. Um, first book uh, donates brand new books to kids who don't have any. They just donated their 125th, 25th millionth book. And so I'm not only, am I hooked up with CCI cans, but we're also bringing in first book. So it actually, what they, you know, what they say, it's a mitzvah or something. So that's the silver lining of being turned down. Okay. So tell us about, um, I have an iPad. Um, I have a granddaughter, you know, my, my son has an iPhone. How is this going to work? You know, can she follow along on, on her i on her dad's iPhone, can I read it to her? You know, via how how's that going to work? It's going to be like an um, an iBook app, um, like for the iPad, where you can swipe. Okay. And we've already got my most favorite illustrator in the entire world, Lynn Munsinger, who's going to do the illustrations. And on the Kickstarter page, you can see some of her work. And um, this is one of the reasons we need to raise more money. At first, I thought, why do we need so much money? But then I realized how hard it is to really do great applications with animation and sound effects. And um, you'll be able, the more money we get, the more we can do. So it'll be more fun and more educational. And I'm like learning more about the actual dog or going off in little directions about training a dog. You'll be able to learn more about how to train a dog rather than just reading it, you know, pushing buttons and saying sit and the dog might lie down and then press another button and it's like, okay, now, now sit. Okay. So for sure we are not talking about my dog because if you told her that she'd look back up and say, is there a treat involved? Exactly. If, if the answer was yes, then we'd have a pretty good chance of getting that done. But she's just not, you know, her personality is like, okay, what's in it for me? Exactly. Most dogs. <laughs> yes. Treat okay. oriented. So, um, so when is this projected to be out? If your Kickstarter campaign is successful, um, when when are we going to be able to start seeing the app? Hopefully June, um, and um, the book as well. We're going to do a hardcover copy. So okay, and and I just need to add that if if it's successful, which I hope it will be, the second book is going to be about dogs in the military. Wow! You just told chose the other all-time favorite um, thing that my list loves. That one will probably get you two rejections from Harper. Um, so um, tell me, um, how much money are you trying to raise in this Kickstarter campaign? Um, we're trying to raise 100000 um, That's where our goal is right now. Okay. So... We're going to be turning to our friends at the Doggington Post, who... Um, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> that's okay. These things happen. Um, <laughs> yeah. Just throw the phone away. I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, just ignore okay. it. Okay, everybody, we're just going to listen in on Laura's conversation. Is this your worst interview ever? Um, no. Um... It's second worst. I got first, first wor the worst interview was the one that I got my divorce papers served right in the middle. <laughs> Not Skype? Huh? No, it wasn't on Skype. I was on the interview. It was pouring rain and someone came to the door and it was, <laughs> come on, you can't beat that, right? So, um, let's come, let's come back to, uh, do you have any connection with dogs in the military that, you know, you chose it as a topic? No, but, um, I... I, I really admire what they do, um, the dogs and the, and the troops. I mean the troops. And just set the combination of the dogs helping the troops is just magnificent. And it's going to be like just a dog and a, and a soldier. I and mean, it will also follow them when they come back. Oh, together. wow. That's fantastic. That's yeah. fantastic. No yeah. other combination of pictures of dogs and military gets as many likes or shares on our page is that. So this really? is going to go a long way. That's our number one 
thing. Um, oh, good to hear that. So, folks, this campaign, which was rejected by a major publisher, um, when you know a well-known, established author wanted to publish a book about service dogs, got a big fat no rejection letter, and and we can turn that around together and put a book in the hands of the next generation all about service dogs and then next about uh, dogs in the military, our canine heroes who, who help and put their lives on the line just like our two-legged heroes. So uh. underneath this video is a link that you can go and you can check out the campaign for Laura's book. The book is titled... Work for Biscuits, Raising a Hero. Work for Biscuits, Raising a Hero. And, you know, this is a good thing to do and support. Anything that you can do, um, e whether it's $25 or even donating a dollar, makes Or just um, putting it on your Facebook. Yeah. Um, please uh, like and share this video so we can make this go as viral as, as possible. Uh, Laura, thanks for your time today. I had a blast in the interview. My kids, lo my kids love your book. Now I'm rebuying them. My books for now. I'm rebuying them for grandchildren. For grandchildren. So, oh, great! So there okay. you go. Thank you so much. Take care. <laughs> bye bye. You too. Bye bye.